Simba, Simba, this is not a video about a pumpkin or a cat. I know it might appear that way right now, but that's not what the purpose of this video is. Um, I'm Edward Thompson, I'm a photographer, and I want to talk to you about um, cameras. Um, not about this cat, let's get it, let's get it over here. There we go. Hello, I'm Ed, and um, I'm a photographer, and one thing I wanted to do with this video was dispel a myth um, about the importance of your camera being a photographer. I've lost count for the amount of times I've been on a photo shoot, and someone's seen my camera and been, wow, that looks like a really expensive camera. It must take great photographs. Um, it would be the equivalent of going up to a chef and saying, hey, your food's really great, you must have really expensive spoons and pans. Um, your camera it means nothing to do with the quality of your photographs, okay? When I was a photography student, I really kind of fell in love with the work of Diane Arbus, and I really wanted to try shooting in square format. <clears throat> I couldn't, um, they didn't have square format cameras at college I could book out, that was the cat. Um, but I found in an, uh, a photography shop in the little town where I lived in Folkestone, um, a photographer passed away and left a camera. And that camera was the Super Iconta, it's a medium format 6x6 rangefinder. You can see it has funky little bellows, that means you can do cool stuff like this, and like this. Okay, um, but the main thing that I really liked about it was I was finally able to shoot square format. And a lot of my earlier work um, that you might have seen, um, images of the guy on the sofa with the chickens and other classics, were shot on this camera. Um, it literally I must have cost under £100 at the time, and the closest, closest equivalent I could have got would have been a lot more money than that. So it's really not about your camera, it's about how you see with your camera. Okay, thank you.